today we're gonna talk about y'all i was trying to open up a navy federal business account and i got denied today i'm gonna give you some tips that will hopefully help you so that you can get approved when you try to get your navy federal business account let's get into it Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. In this video, I wanna show you the process of opening up a Navy Federal business account. You know, Navy Federal business services, they have the checking account, a savings account, they have a business credit card, and they have business loans that you can get. So a few weeks ago, I was trying to open up me a business checking account. Cause you know, you don't wanna mix your money up. So I wanted to get a business checking account. So what I did first, I called Navy Federal up and I asked him, okay, what is the process? What do I need? So she told me that I need an EIN number, a business license, and that was it. That was all that she told me that I need. And actually, that really depends on how your business is structured. Now, that is for a sole proprietorship. But if you have an LLC, an S Corp, or a C Corp, there is some additional documentation that you might need. Now, when we get over to that business services page, I'll go into that. But for the sole proprietorship, you only need the EIN number and your business license. Now, the application can be completed online. But when I was trying to do my application online, it was like some glitches that were going on. So I actually called them up. Now you wanna make sure that you have a little bit more time when you're trying to set up your business accounts. Because I am a member of Navy Federal, so I have a checking account, a savings account, and I have the Navy Federal flagship credit card. And you know, usually when you call in, most of the time you can get right through. But for the business services, it did take a little bit of time. And so I had to hold for a little bit. And then when I actually, when we went over the application although the application doesn't take long to fill out online when you call in it's going to be a little bit more time so you want to really allow yourself about an hour i would say give or take i would say the main thing in this is that it's no rush to apply for the application it's like maybe i could have waited to apply for my application maybe it wasn't anything that i needed right now because I actually do belong to another credit union and I have other checking accounts through them. So I did have a place for my money to where it wouldn't be mixed up with my other money. So I probably could have waited right now and did just a little bit more research. But I think I was under the impression that, you know, since I already had the checking account, savings account and the credit card, and since I was in good standing and I had the information that they need, but for the actual service that I provide, because they are gonna go on your website, there are whatever information that you put on here, they are gonna check it out. And so it's really a two day process because you have to, they're gonna take all the information down but then they're gonna they're gonna review the application and so even while even though they say it's gonna be a two-day process since i was on the phone with the lady she actually had just went ahead and she was researching it as we went through it so then when we were putting all the information in and then she put me on hold and then i knew that she was um she was researching all the information that i gave her and it was not to say that any of the information i gave her was wrong but since my business you know i have a digital planner and so that can kind of be you know they get kind of scary when it says you know credit and things like that and so they were really kind of more so under the impression that I did um, credit repair, even though I didn't say that I did credit repair, but you know, so that's why it's very important before you um, apply, get all the appropriate information. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go over to my computer and then I'll show you how to get to the business services part on the Navy Federal website. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the Navy Federal website and then you're gonna go to services, and then you're gonna go to business solutions. And once you get onto the business solution sign, it actually tells you that there are high volumes for applications, and so it can take a little bit of time, especially when you call in. But it has a lot of information, you know, about the business checking, the business uh, credit cards, and the business loans. 
So you can look at that. But really what you want to do is you want to come all the way down and you want to do learn more about membership. So once you come over here, it's going to give you a little bit more information, but it's going to tell you how you can join. And first, it does let you know that you have to be a member of Navy Federal, but you also have to be in good standing. And so then it's going to tell you, okay, you can go over to the appropriate documentations and here is where it's going to break it down. Okay, are you an S Corp? Are you a C Corp? Are you an LLC? Are you a sole proprietor? And it'll give you more information as to what you need to apply for the business account. And also, the main number one thing that you need to know is that you need an NAICS code. And what this code does, it helps you to classify, it helps them to know what classification you fall under for your business. And so this is very important. So I would look this up before you actually call because I actually didn't know that I needed that number and she asked me what my number was but she was so helpful and she actually sent me a link in my portal and then i was able to look it up but we was able to do that while we were on the phone with her but i think by you actually doing it before you might have a better chance so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to where it tells you what you need to join because we're gonna go to the special sign in link and that's how you get to the business application. Now you have to actually have an account and you will put your account information in there. Okay, so now once you put in your passcode and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna come over here and tell you how that you can apply. So then you're just gonna come down here and you're gonna hit start. So see what happens is it has a bad request because something was going on with it. But what you can do is you can always click out of it and then go back in. And then usually I was able to get back in the system and get to the application that way. But really you're gonna have to call, but I really wanna show you guys what the application looks like. So it'll give you a better understanding and you can fill it out because it's really easy to fill out the application and it really only take probably like 10 minutes to fill it out but it'll give you when you call navy federal this will give you a heads up of exactly what you need okay so when you come over to the application you know you want to put your business name you want to put your tax um id number on there that is very important you want to put when was your business established and then you want to come down and you want to say okay are you a nonprofit? um what state was your business incorporated in how are you affiliated now me i joined through a family member so that's the box that i checked but you can put how it is appropriate for you and then also a web address if you put your website address they are gonna go and check that information so this is very important so you want to make sure that your website is appropriate because if you have any links on there so let's say you have your youtube page or some other pages on there they're gonna check everything out so they can really see okay how is your business is your business high risk and i'll even put the article in the description to say okay what businesses do some banks or credit unions consider to be high risk and then that can help you but especially when you go online and even if you especially when you call in or even when you do your application online they are going to research your company so you want to make sure that your company one is structured correctly so that, that that it doesn't take you longer or you don't get denied for that but also your website and things of that nature that it looks and it is business appropriate because if they see something that they don't like they're going to deem you high risk and then once you are denied Technically, you cannot ever put this business or um, apply through this business anymore. You'll have to apply through a whole nother business. It's better to do it right the first time so that your business doesn't ever get denied. And so next, what you want to do is you want to come down here and it's going to ask you, okay, how much do you foresee your estimated annual sales and revenue? So really um, think about 
what you think that is and then you want to come and say okay what is your primary trade areas are you going to be just local is it statewide domestic or international and then you're going to tell okay how many employees do you have so the application is very straightforward also they're going to ask you okay what kind of membership or what kind of accounts do you want to establish for me I was just trying to establish a checking account. Um, since I am a member of Navy Federal, I was gonna have them take it out of my uh, savings account. And if you are, and also looking at this a little bit more, once you get down to the owner's part, are you sole owner of the account or do you have a certain percentage? All that information you have to put in there. What is the title? Uh, what is your current title? So. You know, you just want to take the time when you're filling this out. So yes, I'm telling you the best way to do the application is probably to call, even though the online application is easy to fill out, but I know they were having some glitches with that. So yeah, call Navy Federal Credit Union and they will assist you. Now I also put some information in the description regarding the NAICS code and why banks or credit unions will deny you for a business account if they feel like you are high risk. But I am gonna be doing some more research so I can find out what bank or credit union I can open up a business checking account with. So I am excited about that. But if you know of one, please put it in the comments so that I can check it out. But I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn your notification bell on so that you can be the first to be notified with new content. And until next time. It's not a game, it's a rich thing.